Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel Trading Secrets, this channel is for entertainment purposes only. For those of you who do not know, my name is Ali, I have over 20 years experience teaching accounting, economics, business and law. Through this channel I'll be providing some stock analysis and a quick update on the million dollar challenge. So if anybody's not aware of this, this is a journey of an investment of $1,000 to a return of $1 million over a period of three years using a strategy called compound return investing. So the objective is try to get 201 trades, each with a return of 3.5%. It's not 201 consecutive trades, we do take into account losses. So for further details about how to join us for little as $9 a month, information is available in the description below. We now have six days uh, of trading left on the OTC for MNTLP, so we're going to be focusing on some key reminders and important messages going forward for the final six days. Uh, so before we have a look at those, uh, let's have a look at what's happening in the market. So quick headline here from Yahoo Finance. The countdown begins to the Fed's last minute, uh, last meeting of 2022. What to know this week? Uh, so obviously um, a big week coming up. So the US Central Bank officials are expected to convene December 13th and 14th uh, and expect to lift their benchmark interest rate by 50 basis points uh, so obviously we will await that with interest uh, and in other key dates here in terms of the economics calendar on Tuesday we can expect to, be, to see uh, figures for the trade balance uh, we're looking at a deficit approximately 770 uh, sorry a deficit of 77 billion dollars uh, expected probably 73 billion 73.3 billion dollars so could be bad news there Thursday could be important as well we're looking at initial jobs claims for the weekend in December the 3rd uh, so uh, let's stay tuned for what happens uh, in the calendar and finally a headline here from Yahoo Finance with regard to Sam Bankman and uh, let's see what is um, uh, he's saying here and what uh, Sam Bankman has said is after misaccounting eight billion dollars after he misaccounted uh, mis eight billion dollars after FTX customers wired money to the hedge fund Almeida and the cash was counted twice. So uh, if this is the defense by one of the hedge funds that they uh, counted the uh, you know miscounted the money twice. Uh, then not a great deal of uh, credibility for this hedge fund and not a great deal of credibility for Sam Bankman. Uh, so the authorities certainly need to uh, do something about him and focus on the priorities of helping the, the customers, the investors and the retail. So before we have a look at the key reminders, I'm going to share with you here um, an article from Microcap Daily. I'm going to focus here on uh, statements here from the bird lady. So what we can see in the article uh, in the previous video, I'm sure you're aware that there was some uh, frustrations that we shared from John Birder. And uh, we also shared some of the uh, responses to that. But uh, in terms of following on from that yesterday, we can see as a reminder here uh, that John Bird is certainly very frustrated with regard to FINRA approval, which is still not yet happened. I think the vast majority of us are expecting that to uh, happen Monday and at the very, very latest Tuesday because there's not much time left. Uh, so that's the, the final piece on the jigsaw. And uh, in terms of what the bird lady is saying here, highlighted further down, uh, certainly what I think is interesting and that is with regard to the shorts. So what she said here is the bird lady saying I calculate there is between 216 and 280 million shares of MMTLP shorts. So they are uh, naked short, fail to deliver that need to close their positions. The dates are pendant ink, December the 12th and December the 14th. So we are in a very critical situation here going forward. Uh, and uh, in terms of how the shorts escape this, uh, it could be a miracle, but if it's not a miracle, it will be a squeeze. So with regard to this uh, controversy regarding FINRA, I'm going to share with you here a recent post that I've just uh, posted today. And uh, this is a key reminder in terms of what the aspects of uh, uh, this approval that the FINRA will be looking at. So FINRA will test for deficiency determination to, and in their own words, to maintain fair and open markets. So this is where we are going to hold FINRA to account. So these are the five factors that FINRA are going to be looking at. First of all, number one, are there any other forms, have the forms been completed accurately? Number two, current reporting requirements, are they all uh, complied with? Number three, are, are there any pending civil or criminal investigations uh, in terms of the insiders? Number four, has any potential, uh, have any potentially fraudulent activities taken place? Certainly not. And number five, has there been any uncertainty in settlement clearance process? Well, we cannot get more black and white than the 12th of 
December and the 14th of December and uh, one MMTLP for one next bridge. So uh, what else does FINRA want? We have been as clear as day. Uh, so none of those apply in my opinion. So as far as I'm concerned, if FINRA are using one of these five points, uh, then certainly that would be highly dubious, suspicious, and uh, would warrant an appeal, potentially warrant some uh, litigation and uh, challenges. So let's now finish off by having a look at the final six days and some of the key reminders. So what I'd like to sh share with you here is first of all, the dates uh, and the S1 have been improved by the government regulator SEC, uh, Securities and Exchange Commission, and uh, with, with effect to Rule 424B. Uh, and we are now expecting OTC trading will close on 12th of December. That certainly is what uh, John, uh, sorry, George Palikairos himself has requested. So let's see what happens going forward. But we, everybody is very, very confident of these dates. Uh, the process is still to be completed and brokers are awaiting receipt of, of the corporate notices after FINRA approves on their daily list. So uh, we will be checking the daily list from Monday. And as soon as we get the uh, notification on there, we will share that immediately. Uh, the DCCC will then work with FINRA to take responsibility to send corporate notices to brokers. Uh, we have seen in the previous week, shorts are still shorting. They are still distorting the market. And uh, one of the reasons why is brokers have not received the corporate notices. Uh, so the, in terms of number four, uh, and uh, we're looking at data with regard to shorts. So there is a strong estimate, 80 million uh, uh, shares short, uh, potentially carried for from 2021. We haven't seen the volume to suggest that these have covered. Uh, so you can certainly have a look at the bird ladies figures and also Tony from market moves. Uh, so uh, what we can see with regard to these amount of shorts that are in terms of the number of shorts compared to the number of shares, there are not enough shares available because the whales are not selling, the longs are not selling. So we are in a critical situation, but the shorts must close their positions. Otherwise, brokers will close for them if needed. And I, as far as I'm concerned, I think the date will probably, the critical date will be the 9th of December. And remember this key message that we have been reiterating, if nobody is selling, sell limit orders will have to be used. So whether they're used by the shorts or whether they're used by the brokers, uh, they will have to be used. So if you have your very high sell limit orders, that is like an invitation to buy uh, for, uh, for uh, um, from your point of view, an invitation to, you're, you're, you're inviting them uh, to come and buy because you are uh, obviously offering them for sale at your chosen price. So the whales are certainly not uh, in the slightest bit concerned. So in the previous video, I shared some reaction from um, William Stewart. So as a key reminder, remember William Stewart is not an insider. He is uh, uh, just a retail investor with a significant amount of shares and he has not sold. He has got limit orders, uh, many of them in excess of $500. Uh, he has been contacted by the brokers who want his shares. He has firmly said no. And another reminder in terms of William, when we have been having the short attacks, he has helped out the retail uh, in terms of buying. Uh, and that is one of the reasons why we have seen strong support in terms of the price. It's not crashed as, uh, in terms of how they wanted it. Uh, finally, just to finish off, the process will come to an end on the 14th of December 2022. Uh, obviously the trading will stop on uh, the 12th of December uh, and then obviously next bridge will be announced 14th of December and this whole process will be completed. I finally I'd like to finish off by giving a shout out to our weekly watch list. So this is shared in advance with the Discord members prior to trading on the Monday. So if you'd like to get the next copy of the weekly watch list, you can certainly consider joining us for a little as $9 a month. So some of the stocks that we called out COSM, that was up about 35% on the Friday. Uh, so a, a good, some exceptionally good returns in that volatile stock. Uh, VON was also a good uh, call. Uh, we also called out uh, ULTA that did okay. MANU that was up uh, considerably on the week. Uh, and uh, certainly if you're in, in terms of the next uh, weekly watch list that will be available today. Uh, so finally, thank you very much for watching. Please stay tuned.